Okay, so let's find out if the GTX 1060, six gigabyte, is up for a truly next gen game. We're not off to a great start, but we also haven't adjusted the graphic settings yet, although this is 1080p. Uh, the post-processing effects in this engine are already looking quite nice. Like, if you ignore the frame rate, I think the image we're getting here does look quite good. Now, I'm still not necessarily gonna argue this is the most optimized game. Let's see what happens as we turn down settings. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead. <laughs> And we can definitely confirm that our current settings are not working, at least in a cutscene. So what are they? Uh, right now, it looks like, uh, you know, I'm going to turn VSync off just in case that's messing with us. Looks like we're at 1080p. Uh, we're at a full uh, resolution scale. So this engine does have a resolution scaler, although it doesn't say what type of uh, scaling technique that's using. Uh, looks like we have low latency on, no motion blur, um, and looks like the graphics preset, we are at the ultra graphics preset. And that's probably the problem. So <laughs> uh, why don't we let this run just a little bit longer, maybe until we get some actual control over the camera motion, and then we can, you know, see how we do in comparison. It's look because you know what? If we're extremely low frame rate during a cutscene, that's one thing. But during actual gameplay where it's affecting your input latency and all of that, that's another thing. Okay, I think I now have actual control over the camera. Yes, I do. Okay, yeah, we're, we're not in a cutscene anymore. This is it. And this looks um, like not good enough frame rates. So <laughs> let's go ahead and adjust some of these graphic settings. So for now, let's stay at the native uh, render resolution scaling of 1080p, but we'll play with that if we need to. And we'll go down to the high preset, which uh, does require a restart. So you know what? Uh, I guess I will do that and come on back. Okay, we have now loaded in on the high settings. And, you know, again, I'll mention there's also the slight recording overhead from, uh, you know, I am capturing this on the GPU encoder. That doesn't usually have a massive performance penalty, but um, I, I don't think it would get us from 25 FPS back up to 30. So, yeah, it's looking like the high settings are not solving the problem. I'm going to walk around a little bit, and, yeah, I think... Should we go ahead and try coming out uh, down to the medium settings? So let's go ahead and swap over to medium, and I will once again restart the game for you. All right, we are down to the medium settings now, and I did pay attention to the frame rate before and after I, I hit the record button, and it's the same. It was 29 frames per second, so yeah, uh, that's not the issue. <laughs> Uh, it's looking like even the medium settings here are going to give us a bit of a challenge. Now it uh, looks quite pretty again, I think so. At medium things still look quite nice. Hold L to sprint. Yeah man, I can definitely tell we are well below 30 FPS. So. I don't think this one's going to do it for me. We can turn down a bit lower and then we can play with resolution scaling if we need to, just to confirm we were on the medium settings here and I did restart the game to apply. Okay, we are now at the low settings. We've gained two FPS. We're now at 31. I guess percentage wise, that's a lot more than two. Uh, let's go ahead and see if in motion we're at least able to stay at 30 FPS. Uh, because that's going to be kind of one of the key differences, is if you can lock to 30 FPS, you know, with V-Sync or something, that's, you know, at least something. Especially maybe if I played with a controller, I'm on a mouse and keyboard right now, but man, it is looking like we are still dropping down into the upper 20s. So I think our last resort is going to be some resolution scaling, although... I mean, if this is typical performance, I would say we're probably at least averaging, you know, 30 FPS. And you could set a, uh, 
you know, a, a 30 FPS frame rate limit V-Sync, something like that, and maybe call it good. Let's go ahead and play around with this uh, resolution scaling, because this game does feature DLSS, but obviously the GTX 1060 can't use it. And I can't find anything else like FSR or anything like that. So there's no name branded resolution scalers, uh, but there is a resolution scaler. So let's go ahead and go down to 90% resolution scale. I mean, glancing at things, it still seems fine. <laughs> So we're on low settings with the 90% resolution scale. We're now comfortably up out of the, you know, up above 30, it seems like. He's too powerful, guys. He's too powerful. We have to hide. All right. Uh, he's going to count to 10. We are going to... <laughs> go down to an 80% resolution scale. Remember, this is still at the low settings. Alright, we're, we're playing hide and, hide and seek here. Uh, the 80% resolution scale, I mean, look, I'd rather not have to use it, but it doesn't seem like the worst resolution scaler I've ever seen. Uh, and it is gaining us performance. Let's go down to 75%. Things are definitely getting a little bit softer. Ah, he found us. Oh no, we lost hide and seek. You know, frames win games, guys. I would have done better at hide and seek if we had a... Uh, <laughs> if we had more frames. I'm sure that's the issue. So let's go ahead and go down to 70% resolution scale. Like I said, I'm curious if at any point we'll be able to get to a 60 FPS in this game, because if we can't, then I might look into, well, could we just lock to 30 FPS with the settings turned up? He can smell our fear. You found us. Now, in motion, you, I think you can start to see the resolution scaling breaking up a little bit. And we're still not to 60 FPS yet, so let's go ahead and go down to 65%. So 65% resolution scale. I feel like the vegetation is starting to get a lot more creepy crawly around the edges with the resolution scale. Like, look at the grass as we walk around back and forth. And we continue to lose hide and seek. So yeah, you're definitely starting to see the resolution scale absolutely at this point. Things are getting pretty fuzzy. We're down to 60%. Yeah, the, the vegetation is very, very much crawling around. The flowers and the grass look very unstable. We did finally see a 60 FPS for a second there, although it's certainly not not locked. Let's go ahead and go down a little bit further. So let's go down to 55%. Okay, we are closer to a 60 FPS lock, although, it, again, it still does dip below. So it uh, looks like we're done with our hide-and-seek game. The guy gave up because we weren't very good at it. Um, <laughs> okay, we're, we're around 60 FPS now, but at what cost? Let's go down to the... Can we even go below 50? It does let you go below 50. Anyway, so at a 50% resolution scale, at the low settings, we do now seem to be getting 60 frames per second. So it's not an impossible task to get 60 FPS in this game. Why don't we go ahead and play it a bit farther at this point? We've seen uh, 60 FPS, but at what cost? The cost seems to be the grass and everything looking really fizzly and uh, crackling in motion and whatnot. <laughs> um, oh, can I those rocks? He wants to climb some rocks. 
Okay, here our frame rate is certainly better. So it does obviously, yeah, depend on the scene we're looking at. Obviously this is not an exhaustive test of the game itself. So the next thing I wanna look at is what if we, um, so we've seen what it takes to get to 60 F FPS, but what if we turn the settings back up? And um, like, what if we went to the ultra settings and then checked what would it take uh, actually, maybe maybe we'll go to the high settings. I will restart the game, and we'll look at what the resolution scaling does at the high settings. All right, so going back up to the high settings, um, we still have that low resolution scale, and so we're, we clearly can't play the game at 60 FPS at high settings, uh, even with the resolution scale down to 50%. So remember, that that is 540p trying to render up to 1080p. So... What I'm actually wondering then is, okay, what if we go ahead and turn the resolution scaling back off, so we go back to 100%, see we're at 25 FPS, so the question I want to look at is if we did want to play the game locked at 30 FPS on the high settings, uh, how bad of a render resolution is that going to take? So what if we went down to, um, let's try 85%. So 85% resolution scale at the high settings. Actually, you know what? This is feeling like we might be able to do a locked 30 FPS here. Okay, 28, 29. So a few minor dips. So what if we did want to go down just a little bit longer? Because again, a smooth frame pacing. Like, I don't like playing games at 30 FPS, but I've been playing on my Steam Deck a lot lately. And one thing I've definitely learned is that a completely stable, flatline, locked 30 FPS, when playing on a controller especially, um, can actually feel reasonably okay, especially once you get used to it. Uh, if you're used to playing at high, high frame rates, it's jarring at first. But uh, once you get a little bit more used to it, I think... Um, you know, there, some, sometimes it, it, you know, the game is certainly playable, and I mean, like, consoles lock games to 30 all the time. I'm pretty sure this game is locked to 30 FPS at 1440p, even on the PlayStation 5 and the Series X. So, uh, all right, it looks like we have what seems to be a 30 FPS lock at the high settings at an 80% resolution scale. Which, again, um, it looks a lot better than the 50% resolution scale. So I'm going to be honest, playing at 60 FPS in this game required such a terrible render resolution that for me, the, uh, the crackle and pop and fizzling aliasing that we saw in the, all the vegetation everywhere and things like that at the 50% resolution scale wasn't worth it to me. And I'm not saying we don't see any of that here, on um, this, uh, you know, 80% resolution scale, but it's a lot less distracting, and we can get by with the gra with the um, uh, with the settings turned up. So, I think we'll finish this out. Maybe just uh, play a little bit further here, see if we see any major dips. But this seems to be an area with you know a lot going on. Although I'd imagine if you maybe got into a more populated area. We could see uh, more demanding areas, I'm sure. This is not fully testing out the game. But at least from the amount of initial testing I have time to do in the morning before I have to start getting ready for work, <laughs> it looks like that um, you could target 60 FPS, but I'm not recommending it. The 30 FPS seems to be the way to go here. All right, we've got water going on, lots of reflections and... You know, seems like we're still ho holding holding 60 FPS. Uh, sorry, 30 FPS here. Wait, I'm supposed to be uh, I'm supposed to be killing these pine cones, I believe. I'm standing behind the log. Let, let's kill a pine cone before we go. Also, I've got to say, like the aim, it seems to kind of have a little lock on. Like it it it, it it's kind of magnetic to the to the thing. So I think if this game is the way I think it is, where it's mostly just sneaking around and the aiming you need to do kind of target locks, um, you know, I think if you're going to play a game at 30 FPS, this is the kind of game where it's probably not the end of the world. 
And so it looks like the GTX 1060 can play this game, not at a native 1080p. Uh, either way, you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be render scaling. So there it is. I hope all of you have an excellent day.